Hi, Alex. Yeah, Alex, so I haven't got an, a, a really easy fix for creating that layout with that, uh, with that grid. So I'm going to show you what I've come up with. And you may already have come up with something. So let's see how it compares to this. So let's say we've got, let's gonna, I'm just going to add a map in here. So maybe add it like this here. So we've got space on either side for our, our grid identification. Um, okay, so let's go with um, the similar settings to what we did in the tutorial. So we'll go 8, 8 what is that? 880, 800, 800,000. And then I'm going to add a grid. And then let's modify that grid. Okay, let's make it uh, solid, which is fine. And and then we do need to set some sort of interval. So actually, before I do that, let's go and choose the coordinate reference system. Okay, so we've got this grid, but now it doesn't line up 100% with the edges. So what I would maybe need to do is just tweak it slightly. So you can offset the grid. So let's say if we offset that by 0.25, if it was zero, you can kind of move the grid into position like <laughs> like this, I guess. If that was five, if that was eight, then it's too far. So let's go back and make that six. Six is almost bang on. And then let's move that. Okay, that was too much. And and so what you can do is you can you can offset the size of the grid. So if you want more values you know then you would just change this to instead of 0 0.5 0. Uh, this 0.25 then it gives you more blocks whoopsie okay so so it kind of what you could maybe do in, and then is pan it into the match it up nicely but now this is kind of a bit of an issue here so what you could do i guess is if you leave it at I think we still had 800,000. So if we just go back out of our, you know, we still had 800,000 there. So so this first part is trying to get the, the grid blocks to match up with the edge of your margin. Okay, so now that's just going to be trial and error. So I assume you'll, you'll get the hang of that. Choosing the right coordinate reference system and then by changing the interval, which in this case is decimal degrees, depending on how many um, vertical or latitude uh, horizontal blocks you want and then offsetting it slightly and then maybe even changing the size of the map okay so I think you'll get the hang of that but then what we need to do is uh, we need an option here we need to be able to draw in the values now this is where I'm going to choose custom and I'm not entirely sure how you can by default just add okay values num number values one to whatever and and letters a to whatever so what we can do is and this is a bit of a fiddle but you would only have to do it once is maybe just add so for this section here we just make that uh well should we make that a a um center and middle Okay, and then maybe copy that and then paste it and then also, you know, kind of line it up with that one, except now I'll make it B. Oops, let's select both of those, copy and paste, move them across, push them back a little bit. I'm just kind of winging it at, at this point. You may you know you prefer probably be prefer to be a bit more accurate than this uh and d okay then likewise for the vertical sections let's just drag this into space like this and then that can be center middle and then that would be the number one etc etc so I, th I based on what you mentioned i think that's what you're looking for so if, for now for instance if you're looking if you're telling someone to go oh go look in um, block b2 there it is there okay so so that is one way to do it that is using a grid on your layout but if you 
don't want to do it that way, what you could maybe do is, let's say you've got your study area, you can actually go and create a grid. So let's go geoprocessing, or um, what are we doing? I think we want, to, is it research or is it geometry? I think it's research tools, create a grid. Okay, here's our grid. Um, okay, it's got the coordinate reference system is in meters. So we'll just work with that for now. And we'll go rectangle, grid extent, um, now you just choose where you want to, you can draw it on the canvas if you want. So for instance, let's draw the grid here like this. And then we'll talk about how far, so um, how f maybe 25 kilometer blocks. So 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 25,000, 1, 2, 3. So that's 25,000 meters by 25,000 meters. Okay. So that's vertical and latitude, longitude. Okay, what else, what else, what else? I'm just gonna create a temporary one and close. Okay, so now here you've got your big blocks, right? And then if we open up the attribute table, we are going to just create a new column and we'll just call it, we'll just call it a lab title. Title would be text and 10 is fine. Okay, so then what we can do is we can say, okay, that one is 1A. So we'll just make that, uh, or A1. A1. This one is B1. I think you get the idea. Okay, so let's see how this looks. So we'll just save that, save it, and then just style this up so that it, it still creates that grid, so to speak. Okay, let's deselect everything. We'll label the grids. Now we can label the grids anywhere. Um, Let's think about it. If we if we label the grid in the middle, it's going to affect. It it, it kind of works, but you can maybe put it in the top left hand corner. I think around the centroid, uh, offset from centroid using perimeter. Okay, that's not great. Uh, around the centroid. Let's go. If we go uh, offset from centroid, I think you might be able to pop it up there a little bit further. But then you can push it right quite a bit further, we go minus 10, or minus 9, or minus 8, and then I think if we, is this also minus? No, that's the other way, so now, oh yes, it is, so minus 10, I don't know, minus 8 as well. Okay, so we've, we can, you can push your, your logos around, but, but now hang on, how does that look in the layout? If we go back to the layout. Uh, okay, first of all, we need to just refresh everything and maybe turn the original one that I was trying out off or delete it. You know, so that is another way for you to have a situation where you can identify blocks or cells whoops um from a grid so yeah i haven't found a simple solution you know where you just turn on the style that allows you to to label it like that so there's two options you can try so yeah i'd be interested to know what you come up with um i hope that helps okay cheers alex bye